1940, the bleak surroundings of Offleg 17A, a prison camp in northeast Austria holding 5,000 French officers. This rarely seen footage is a 30-minute documentary shot in secret by the prisoners themselves. Risking death, they recorded it on a secret camera that was smuggled into the camp in sausages. The team concealed it in a hollowed-out dictionary, the 8 millimeter reels hidden in the heels of their shoes. It's an extraordinary story in itself, but it's what they filmed that makes it all the more remarkable. Lieutenant Jean-Quen Grandidier was a former inmate and part of the escape committee. We dug a number of tunnels from the huts in which we were barracked, he said. The guards always found them. They were smart. They were looking for the earth we dug out. But eventually, they did find a way. Pierre van der Dreis, whose father was also a prisoner, showed us the plans. The Germans allowed the inmates to build an open-air theater between the barracks and the wire. Now, they had half the distance to go, and with the crudest of tools, the malnourished men set to work. They were university professors, mathematicians, geologists and architects, so they calculated the length and direction of the tunnel exactly. This time the earth was hidden in the seats of the theatre. The tunnel was ventilated with empty tins of peas that were stuck together. There were teams to make civilian clothes and the false identity papers they depend on. By September 18, 1943, the men were ready to go. There was so little space in the tunnel, we were forced to lie in the fetal position, said John. There was very little air. Some fainted. And all the time we imagined the worst, the German firing squad that would surely be waiting at the end of the tunnel. But of course, once they had gone beneath the wire, they were still deep inside German-occupied territory. Of 132 prisoners that escaped, 125 were recaptured within a week. Only a handful made it back here to France, and only one survives to this day. To celebrate his 100th birthday, Jean was recently honoured by the city of Paris. In 1943, he found his way to Vienna, where he worked as a nurse in a hospital. Eventually, he secured a precious weekend pass back to Paris. The homecoming was not enough. Within weeks, he'd rejoined the war effort and was now fighting for the resistance. Christian Fraser, BBC News, Paris.